A very good day to you all, ladies and gentlemen, and a warm welcome to Profi TV, live today at the HMI, here on the booth, shared by Profibus and Profinet International. In the world of automation, drive technology takes on a key role as the muscle of automation. On this theme of drive technology at Profibus and Profinet International, there is now the Profi Drive profile. And I have an expert on this subject, Dr. Andreas Uhl, standing right beside me now. Dr. Uhl, what actually is ProfiDrive all about? ProfiDrive defines a standardized interface to ProfiBus and ProfiNet for drives of all kinds. Of course, you can also control drives connected directly to ProfiNet and ProfiBus without ProfiDrive. But if your objective is interoperability, in other words, the operation of several drives from different manufacturers on one controller, then you need a standardized interface, and that is exactly what ProfiDrive offers you. As we know, the world of drives is very diverse, from a simple frequency converter to complete robots. Is that all covered by Profi Drive, or do I ultimately have to use a number of different profiles? The great thing is that the Profi Drive profile covers all drives in the automation technology. PD defines six different classes of application for this. This starts with application class 1, which is the standard drive with frequency converter. If technology is added to this, it puts us in application class 2. The single axis positioning drive then represents application class 3. And in application classes 4 and 5, we find the standard servo drive with clock synchronization. Lastly, application class 6 covers distributed angular locked synchronism with clock synchronization and cross traffic. In other words, an integrated solution is offered for the entire drive technology. Many people have already used ProfiDrive drives on ProfiBus, but the market is increasingly demanding ProfiNet. Do I now have to reprogram my application or switch to a new ProfiDrive? Don't worry, the application can be retained unchanged as the ProfiDrive interface is independent of the communication system. This means that you only have to replace ProfiBus with ProfiNet in your application. Everything else remains the same. Once you have your application on ProfiNet, you can then benefit from all the advantages of ProfiNet in the next stage. Okay. And what about protecting my investment? If, as a device manufacturer, I'm investing in a ProfiDrive interface, am I making a one-off long-term investment or will I have to continually invest and implement because the interface is always changing? The ProfiDrive profile is standardized in the IEC 61800-7 and is therefore stable. The ProfiDrive profile has also been around for a long time and from the start the basic functionality for ProfiDrive has remained unchanged. Needless to say, the profile has undergone continuous development in order to meet new demands that arise from the market. For example, the ProfiDrive profile was the first drive profile to be extended to include drive-based safety. And Profi Energy now makes the standardized interface to energy management the state-of-the-art for drives. What are the advantages for me then if I switch my drive technology to ProfiNet? I mean ProfiNet is of course faster and can accommodate more stations, but is that all? ProfiNet means more than just shorter cycle times and larger quantity structures. Today's modern drive technology is not only a high-performance regulated drive, but is increasingly becoming a platform for additional functions that were previously installed externally to the drive. This is comparable with developments in the automotive industry. Initially, the car comprised the core functions of engine, transmission and suspension. Later, the car became a platform for a whole series of additional functions, such as ABS, airbags, driver assistance and navigation systems. And that is exactly what is happening in drive technology. The drive is becoming a platform. Drive-based safety is a typical example of this, and energy management with Profi Energy has just been added to this. Uh-huh. And what are the consequences for the communication system? I would like to demonstrate this to you over here. A modern communication system in automation not only needs application profiles but also appropriate auxiliary profiles, such as ProfiSafe or ProfiEnergy. Above all, the system must also be capable of several communication relationships, from one device to multiple controllers. In other words, a shared device mode, and in addition be capable of efficient support of hierarchical compositions, in other words, the iDevice functionality. And if I want to construct such a drive, do I then have to do it all myself or is there anyone who can help me with it? 
Help is available for your project from various sources. On the one hand, as a member of PI, you have access to all documentation and all the technology. In addition, there is a range of solution providers who will be happy to help you implement a Profinet or Profibus ProfiDrive interface on your device. And there is also a ProfiDrive community project at industrialnetworks.com, where drive manufacturers and solution providers under the leadership of the Hilsha System Automation Company collaborate to develop shared ProfiDrive software for everyone. If I now bring my drive device onto the market, will it then run reliably alongside devices from other manufacturers? After all, that's the purpose of a standard, right? Yes, of course. PI has already had a certification for the ProfiDrive profile for many years. There is also the ProfiDrive profile tester, which is available for anyone to use, which enables you to perform your own pre-certification. The profile tester can also be used during development in order to test the implemented ProfiDrive function step by step. So you can see, everything is ready for you to get started right away. Yeah, Dr. Thank you very much, Dr. Uhl, for this informative interview. For further information, please contact PI International. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.